Hi, good morning. Good afternoon. I have Laura and Haley. It's very exciting. Um, go ahead and grab weights if you have them. If not, no big deal. Um, oh, Mindy's here, but she's off to the side. <laughs> yeah, she's been she's, isolated. She's yeah. Been isol no, no reason to be isolated. We're all healthy yeah. at this location. Um, all right, so uh, any special requests? Plank stuff. Plank stuff. Oh, Mindy's gonna love you. Okay, she hates plank. All right. That's my favorite. Oh. All right, so here we go. Um, let's start with our feet directly underneath us. Arms come up overhead. We take an inhale, exhale. We dive down towards that mat. Pull the belly up and in as you do this. Oh, right, long time getting there. Once you get here, let's bend the right leg, straighten the right leg. Bend the left leg, straighten the left leg. Let's alternate here. It's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull that belly up and in. We roll up all one, two, the way. Three, Arms come up all the way. Five lawn. Yeah, I know. It's like it's lawn, five. five lawn people. I hope you can hear me, all right? So, <laughs> arms come up overhead just like before. We pull that belly up and in. We roll down. Get down as low as you possibly can. We're gonna rock from heel to toe now. So when you're lifting those toes, you're lengthening the back of the legs. Make sure that belly's pulling up and in. Now Mindy's finally ready to work out. <laughs> we keep going here. It's five, four, three, two, one. Engage that core. We roll all the way up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead. All right, let's stand very wide now. So take it wide and into external rotation like sumo squat, okay? So pull that belly up and in. We roll down towards the mat, all right? Now, I want you to go ahead and bend into the right leg. Really, really stretch. If you don't feel the stretch here, you can deepen or widen that, uh, that yeah, there you go. So go ahead, pull the belly up and in. We come through center, we go over to the other side. We take an inhale, exhale, switch sides for me. Come through center and go to the other side. We're gonna do one more on each side. So go to the right for me, okay? Now lift up the left heel, or the left toes, not the heel. Dig into the heel, deepen that stretch. If you need to move your hands to get a little bit more here, hold it here. It's three, it's two, and it's one. We're gonna come through center, go to the other side, lift the other side toes. We feel this a lot, yes? Yes, I love it. Make sure we breathe here, it's three, two, one, we come through center, we roll up to standing, one vertebrae at a time, arms come up overhead. All right, so put your weights on either side of the mat and then lay down or sit down on the mat so your feet are facing the street for me, okay? We're not gonna use the weights yet, we're gonna get there. So let's warm up the core before we get going. So sitting up nice and tall, all right, arms are in front of you, we take an inhale, exhale, we roll down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time, arms come up overhead, now, if you need to walk up the back of your legs, go ahead and do that. We take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest. We roll up, grab those toes, grab, grab, grab. Hold it here for three, for two, for one. Stack the spine. We roll it down just like before. Beautiful, arms come up overhead. Take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest. We roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Grab the toes, stack that spine when you're done. Beautiful, last time, roll it down. Arms come up overhead. We take an inhale, exhale, we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Very nice. Grab those toes, breathe here for three, two, one. I want you to roll down to the mat just so your shoulder blades are hovering. If you need to lower the head, neck, and shoulders, that's fine. Go ahead, grab your weights here for me. Float those legs up into tabletop. Laura has crazy weights, I wanna point out. So she drops them. All right, so we're gonna go here for the 100, okay? So if you wanna extend the legs out and have a Pilates V, that's great. All right, start pumping the arms. It's inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Really think about deepening that core. If at any point your head, neck, and shoulders are killing you, put it down. If you have bad hip flexors, you go back into tabletop. We're almost there. It's inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Go ahead, drop the weights for a second. Grab your knees, rock side to side, release that lower back. How hard was that, Laura? Pretty darn heavy. Yeah. 
So if at any point, yeah, if at any point it's not for you, that's cool. All right. So let's go ahead, float those legs up into tabletop. If you have the weights with you, that's great. If not, that's fine too. We're gonna go into a little bit of footwork and ab work, okay? So arms are reaching long, you want the palms up to start. So with flex feet, I want you to bend the knees in and out. So inhale, extend, and exhale, drag it in. Eight, nice and slow. Really think about those knees coming up into the chest as you exhale. Five, four, can you feel this? Three, two, one, hold it there, point and flex the feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the legs, bend and extend the elbows, biceps. Eight, seven, at any point if your neck's on fire, it's going down. Four, three, two, one, arms are at 90 degrees, pull the belly up and in, we poke holes here. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Drop the weights, bend the knees in, rock side to side, release in the lower back. So you're seeing Haley. She's got some modifications because she's got grumpy hip flexors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see all kinds of different things. She's not doing it wrong, she's doing what's right for her, okay? So let's come to Pilates V with those heels together, toes apart, all right? Uh, let's come to palms facing each other, all right? With flex feet, we bend the knees in and out. Here we go, it's eight. Squeeze those inner thighs. Seven, six, five, four. Go ahead, we're still here. Don't worry, I don't know what happened exactly. Hold it here, point and flex the feet. Pilates yes. is falling. Eight, I put the do not disturb on. Seven, six, three, two, one. Hold it there, now arms open and close. Eight. Sorry, it's like crazy today. My Dr. Pacey just called me. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it halfway, little tiny open and close. Pull the belly up and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, bend the knees in. Let's rock side to side, release the lower back. Laura, if you're over those weights, be over the weights. Uh, I'm okay with it. So good. All right, so let's come yeah, to... No, no, it actually looks okay. Wide second position, flex feet. She's okay. All right, Mindy, it's a crazy day here, isn't it? Here we go. So let's go to hug a tree arms a little bit overhead. All right, with flex feet, bend and extend the knees in and out. Eight. Keep them nice and stable to start. Six. Five. Now, Haley, if it's crazy on your hip flexors, maybe play around with the location of the feet. Four. We're here. Three. Two. One, hold it here, let's point and flex. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the feet. If you need to come back to tabletop with the legs, that's fine. Bend and extend those elbows. Hug a tree. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the little hug a tree, little pulses. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, drop the weights, grab the knees, let's rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Awesome, awesome work here, guys, okay? So, go ahead, put the feet on the mat for me. Arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. All right, bent knees. We take an inhale, exhale. We come up into a bridge, kind of doing the opposite of what we just did. So use the abs and the glutes here. We take an inhale, exhale, we roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale, we come right back up to the top. We take an inhale, exhale, we roll it down one vertebrae at a time. All right, here comes the work. Inhale, exhale, we come all the way up to the top, all right? If you wanna add on to these variations, the arms can come up to the sky, all right? Squeeze the abs and the glutes, so really think about that connection happening here, and then let's go ahead, lift and lower, just two inches here. Squeeze the glutes as you lift, abs lower, glutes lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, breathe, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, one vertebrae at a time, grab your knees, let's rock side to side, releasing that lower back. We're gonna do one more variation and then we'll move on. We're gonna keep it quick and fast today. Come to Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. All right, arms are still pressing like the devil into the mat. 
take an inhale, exhale, we come all the way up just like before. If you're adding on, those arms come up to the sky. Haha. -ha. All right, so really think abs and glutes, and then we're gonna open and close the legs. Eight, seven. So don't let go of everything that's happening. Hello, banana roll, yes? Six, five, do we feel this? Four, three, two, one, hold it here. Get to the point open where you really feel that engagement and then little pulses open and close. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. I know we're still burning. So get that, uh, that glute engagement. Now lift and lower. This is it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, lower down, beautiful. Grab your knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Very, very nice. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into the ab series of five. So we're alternating, okay? So if you wanna do this without weights, I will not make you do it without weights. Yeah. yeah. So let's do it without weights because it's mean and I'm gonna do a standing se series that will use weights. So let's not use weights, it's optional. Mindy, if you wanna be extra, you do it. All right, so come into that tiny, tiny little ball. All right, the left leg is gonna shoot out straight and we go switch, switch. So it could be inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, or you can do it either way, right? So it could be inhale, inhale, and then exhale, exhale, or you can alternate. Um, if your head, neck, and shoulders need to come down, that's an option too. We're almost there. It's four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one, last one. Grab your knees, lower your head, neck, and shoulders. Take a hot second. Take it, inhale, exhale, we come back up into that tiny little ball. All right, double knees, double legs. Everything goes out, exhale, everything squeezes it in. Inhale out, exhale in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, grab the knees, lower down the head, neck, and shoulders. All right. So we're gonna do straight legs here. Now, this is tough for Haley because her hip flexor hates her, okay? So left leg is extended long, both hands are on that right leg. Wow, look at that flexibility, Laura. It's a pulse, pulse, and a switch. Are you, do you see this? Uh -huh. It's pulse, pulse, and switch. Pulse, pulse, and switch. You see that, hey, I know. And yeah. Haley has got a bent knee, so it's saving her hip flexors here, right? It's six, six, five, five, I'm so jealous, four, <laughs> Four, three, no, no, three, two, two, last one, last one. Grab your knees, lower the head, neck, and shoulders here. And dude, it's real. We all know I'm short. It's so funny. People come up to me, I didn't realize you were that short. I'm like, I just have a big person. All right, so we're going to go into Pilates V straight legs. If this is grumpy on your hip flexors, Miss Haley, find something that works for you. Hands can come wide behind your head. You're supporting that neck. Let's start at the top. We inhale lower, exhale lift. If you wanna take a little jump at the top, go ahead and do that. That is super extra. It's an exhale as you lift. Beautiful. Five, four, three. You do not want that back to leave that mat. Three, two, one, beautiful, grab your knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Are your abs burning, Haley? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so hands come wide behind the head, your legs are into tabletop. I want you to really think about the rotation coming from that armpit, okay? We're gonna start by coming towards me. So inhale and yep, and then exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's eight, eight, seven, seven. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one, last one. Grab your knees, rock side to side, release that lower back. Let's flip over onto our bellies and do the opposite of abs, which is a stretch and the swan extension, okay? So hands are on the mat. If you need to take a baby swan, that's cool too. Legs are glued down, glutes are squeezed. We take an inhale, exhale, lifting that chest. Ah. If you want to lift the chin to deepen the stretch, that's great. We take an inhale and then an exhale and lower it down. Inhale, exhale, lift that chest. 
We take an inhale and exhale and lower it down. One more here, inhale, exhale, we come all the way back up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. One more, inhale, exhale, we come all the way up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Now, I want you to still have your hands where they are, okay? Legs are super engaged. I want you to lift the legs up two inches, squeeze the glutes and start fluttering the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the legs up if you can. Lift the arms so they're hovering, all right? They're still squeezing. Now keep the legs here. Open and close the arms towards the other end of the room. So here we go. Eight, seven, six. Are we doing okay here? Five, four. Squeeze the shoulder blades as they come in. We've got two more. Two, one. Now keep the arms and the shoulder blades squeezed together. Flutter the legs again. This is it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, lower everything down, widen the knees, press back into that child's pose, stretch everything out. Ah, right? Okay, so we got one more extension exercise and then we'll go into um, double kicks, okay? So let's go back into that same position we were just in, okay? Legs are nice and straight, but let's see if we can come to Pilates V with the inner thighs kind of squeezing together, okay? Flutter those arms up. Okay, so they're hovering. Now, hold the, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then open a little beats with your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs stay lifted, squeeze the inner thighs, open and close those arms. Eight, squeeze the shoulder blades. Seven, six, Lord, gorgeous. Get it, Haley. Five, four, three, two, one, hold the shoulder blades squeeze together. Let's open little beats with the heels. Eight, seven, six. If you can walk them up higher as you do this, that's cool too. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, widen the knees, press back into that child's pose. Nice work. Mindy, are you coming back? <laughs> you off camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put your clothes back on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come back to our bellies, but this time you're gonna be on your forearms and lifting that torso, all right? So, pull the belly up and in, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna go for double kicks with the legs. So start with the right, it's a kick, kick towards the booty and lower. Kick, kick with the left and lower. So, what's happening here is we're using our abs. We're also really trying to stretch the quads out and keep that extension in our back. All right, it's six, six, Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, last one, last one. Beautiful, press back into that child's pose for me. So we're gonna go into a side plank, side lying leg series. So your multiple variations. This is our only planking exercise of the day, Mindy. I'm looking at you as I oh, say this. All all right, so you can come to start on your knee and on your arm, that is the harder variation, and then just use the top leg. Um, or you can be on your forearm and your knee down. Um, so we'll say it in the high knee, yes, like this, okay? But if that doesn't feel good for multiple reasons, you can come down, okay? So just wanna make sure everyone can see everything. Okay, so hand comes behind your head, all right? Make sure you've got your knee directly underneath your hip. Okay, top leg lift and lower, dig through that heel, eight. Seven, head back, nice alignment. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that leg so it's hip height. We still have a flex foot. Bend and extend the knee so we're kicking the booty. Eight, seven, six, five, we good? Four, three, two, one. Point the toe, extend the leg nice and long. Arm comes up overhead. We're gonna try to go wrist to ankle. Eight, seven, doesn't have to be such a crazy movement. See how Laura's doing in front of you, Haley? Six, there you go, no, isn't that nicer? Yeah. Five, four, three, burning, yes? Cool. Two, one, everything extends long. Hold it there, little tiny little pulses. Eight, this is it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down so you're in the mermaid and we can stretch that all out. 
stretching. Arms come out to the side. We're gonna take an inhale, exhale, and side stretch over towards the house. Uh, yeah, there is a little breeze. What the heck we been going on? I don't know, man. We take an inhale, exhale, we come through cider and we go the other direction. Four months to figure out. I know, we're so crazy. You know. We come through center, we side stretch again. They must think you have a 20 acre estate. Come through center, we really have. They must think you have a 20 acre estate. We come through center last time on this other side. Very nice. Let's flip over and do everything on the other side before I forget. Next time we'll try in the vineyard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I want to be really clear with you guys. If one side feels so crazy to be on, you can totally take a modification on one side, okay? Make sure that knee is directly under the hip. All right, hand comes behind your head to start. With a flexed foot, we lift and lower the leg. Eight. One side's going to be dramatically tougher, yes? Seven. Six. Looks so pretty, guys. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Hip height. Bend and extend. Kick the booty. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep breathing, Mindy. Three, <laughs> two, one. Extend the arm long. Try to go ankle to wrist. Eight, seven, six. Don't forget about that bottom oblique. Four, three, two. One, extend everything long, little pulses up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come down, let's come into that mermaid for me. All right, arms come out to a T. Take an inhale, exhale, we go towards the street to start. Oh, that feels nice. Take an inhale, exhale, we come through center, we go the other direction. Take an inhale, exhale, we come through center, we side stretch over the other direction. Take an inhale, exhale, we come through center, we go towards the other direction. Beautiful. All right, so let's come to the high kneeling position facing the house. And you want your weights on either side of you. We're not gonna use them yet. So left leg is uh, in, uh, in front of you and the right leg is back. We're gonna take that hip flexor stretch to start. So we're gonna get into this nicely, okay? So first is the hip flexor stretch with a bent knee. Now press into that right hip and drag it forward. If you wanna come to the ground, that's cool too. We're just stretching here for a second, Miss Laura. I know it's something I'm not great at, but you know. We take an inhale, exhale. We straighten that left leg, getting a hamstring stretch here. Dig through that heel, press back. One more time, press into that right hip flexor for me. Pull the belly up and in. Then take an inhale, exhale, straighten that left leg, dig into the heel. All right, very nice. So, bent knee in the front. I want you to grab the weights and lift the, uh, the right leg is gonna come straight. You're know, coming, coming into like a, um, a lunge position. I can't even talk today, apparently. So. Go ahead, I want you to hinge forward ever so slightly, all right? Now, first things first, elbows are squeezing like the devil into the arms, give me triceps here. Eight, seven, six, squeeze those triceps. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, pull the belly up and in, come up to standing so you're nice and engaged, okay? I want you to bend and extend that left leg. Mm -hmm. There we go, eight, yep. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come up, slight bend in that left leg. Can you lift uh, the left leg? Yeah. Can you lift the right leg as you straighten it? So you're, all your weight's coming in. Uh huh. Now go ahead, lift and lower that leg. Eight, seven. Mindy's like, where do you come up with this? Five, four. Three, two, one. Drop that uh, right leg back. Come back into the lunge, okay? Get down as low as you can, hold it. Hinge forward, last triceps here. Eight, seven, burning yet, six, five, you're very quiet, four, three, two, one. Very nice, put the weights on the ground, let's switch legs. We're not here forever. My belly hates me right now for not doing this. It's I so know. Hard. Well, I know. Oh. Trust me. I have said this before. I have never been more fit. Where have you been? 
Yeah, she's been busy. Yeah. yeah. So straighten um, the right leg, dig through that heel, straighten the hamstring for me. Breathe for you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. For three, for two, and for one, go ahead, come into that right bent knee, straighten. Yep. Yeah. Pull the belly up and in as you lengthen that left hip flexor. All right, let's press back. Make sure you're breathing for me. I have to remember what I did. I think I'll be okay. All right, so go ahead, grab your weights, lift up that left leg. All right, we're hinging forward to start. Pull the belly up and in, triceps, squeeze them like the double. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, come up to standing, pull the belly up and in. Here we go, we bend and straighten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, get a light bend in that right leg. Can you straighten the left leg and come so you're lifting? Hold it here, lift and lower that left leg. Eight, squeeze the glute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, press it back just like before, hinge forward, triceps to finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, go ahead, sit on the mat, get rid of the weights. Legs are straight out in front of you. All right, come hip distance for me with the feet. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna do saw here, okay? We're gonna rotate towards me to start. So take an inhale, exhale. It's three, two, one. Inhale, come through center, rotate. It's three, two, one. Inhale, come through center, rotate. Three, two, one. Inhale, come through center, rotate. Three, two, one. Last time each side, rotate. Three, two, one. We come through center, we rotate. Three, two, one, very nice. Put your legs together for me. Roll down towards the mat one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna go into a little bit of overhead here, okay? So, arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. All right, squeeze the legs together. We're gonna go into rollover here. I know it's a weird place to put it, but whatever. Take, we take an inhale, exhale. We let the legs come up overhead. Try to get down as low as you possibly can. Now your back may be tight and you can't get down low yet, and that's okay. Maybe you're like Haley and supporting yourself. Go ahead, feet or hip distance, dig through those heels, then roll down one vertebrae at a time, staying as low as you possibly can. Once your legs lower, zip them together for me. Haley, that looks so much better than it did on day one. Take an inhale, exhale, let the legs come up overhead. Trying to get down as low as you can. Now, Haley, if you can and you want to, your feet can come towards the ground, but they don't have to, okay? Dig through those heels, pull the belly up and in. We roll down one vertebrae at a time. Uh, zip the legs together. All right, so we're gonna try control balance. If you can't do the full variation, um, I will cue you through some modifications. So to start, your legs are zipped together and your arms are on the mat. We take an inhale, exhale. You let the legs come up overhead. You're gonna jackknife up. You're gonna switch the hand position and grab the right leg if you can. Oh, get it, Haley. And then go ahead and carefully switch and lengthen. Get it, Haley. And switch and lengthen. And switch and lengthen. Let's do two more each side. I know it's a lot, Haley, right? Yeah. <laughs> My balance got off. It's okay. When you're done with that, I want you to flip the arm position. Jackknife up as high as you can. Get length here and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Oh, legs go towards the mat. The arms come up overhead. Take two deep breaths here. Beautiful. We take an inhale, exhale. It's chin to chest. We roll up towards our feet, one vertebrae at a time. Grab them. Grab the feet, the ankles, whatever you can. Put all the pressure into that right shoulder and then switch. This is it. It's six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, Two, two, last one, last one. Sit up, look towards me. Hey, happy Wednesday. Bye, guys. Thanks.